Today, I'm doing a demo and review of Beacon. It's a online software that allows you to create lead magnets like eBooks, forms, checklists. It even has pop-up forms that you can embed on your website. And you can create resource libraries to capture leads online. So watch my video to see my pros and cons and help you decide whether or not this is the right tool for you. So let's get started. This is Kenneth Fong with another AppSumo software review. So I wanna start off this Beacon review by giving you guys access to my SEO audit checklist. So this is a 200 plus point checklist that helps you with on-page SEO, indexation, site architecture issues you need to be aware of. So this checklist is perfect for SEOs, digital marketers. Use this to audit your client's websites your own websites so you can make sure you rank as high as possible online. So this checklist is actually valued at $297, but you can claim it completely free if you click the link in the description below. And if you like this checklist, if you like these videos, please help me out by hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. So let's get started with this Beacon review. So Beacon is your complete lead magnet solution. So you can create uh, lead magnets like eBooks, checklists, uh, opt-in forms on your website, and also libraries of gated content. So it's basically drag and drop, okay? Uh, you drag different elements and build out your lead magnet. Uh, there's pop-ups. The resource library is pretty new and pretty robust, and I'll show you the resource library um, in a bit. So these are how the uh, pop-ups look like, and there's different templates you can choose from. And the lead magnet creator is basically drag and drop. Uh, you can build out your lead capture forms by designing it however you want to. And then the resource library, uh, you can design it and add any type of content on there. and add a password to capture um, lead, to capture your leads by capturing email addresses, okay? So there's different features, right? Like brand styles, uh, blog posts recycle. There's multiple formats in the way you can design certain things. I really like the smart PDF and the password protection. And um, I'll try to show you guys these features um, in today's video. So all of this looks pretty good, right? But is it worth it? Uh, should you be investing in this tool? So I'm gonna help you answer that question. So this is the Beacon dashboard and they recently updated the UI UX, okay? So this didn't look like this a few months ago. So they've been constantly developing this tool um, over the past months. So this is your recent projects. You can quickly access your recent projects right here, uh, account setup, and your key metrics. So you can see how many leads you've generated, uh, what's your conversion rate like, so you can figure out ways to improve your conversion rate and the total number of leads you are acquiring uh, with Beacon. You can request uh, a new feature here and you can see a list of updates that they've recently uh, published. So they created new templates, uh, video card features, uh, different design styles like background gradients, new fonts, so on and so forth. And then there's also recommended tutorials that you can take a look at to use Beacon to its full advantage. So this is the lead magnets uh, page right here. You can see a list of all the lead magnets that you've created in the past and you can actually save the lead magnets as templates so you can create lead magnets in a quicker way and on brand according to your company, to your to your website, right? So to create a, lead, a new lead magnet, just click on this button right here and there's a few options. So you can choose blank, ebook, resource guide, so on and so forth, okay? So for today's video, I'm going to do checklist and you can import blog content. So you can actually use a blog and turn it into a checklist. But today I'm just gonna click on no, and you can choose tons of different templates, okay? So you can filter by clicking any of the buttons here, okay? And go through here, see which ones you like. Uh, they've been adding some um, over the past months, but I can honestly tell you that I wish they gave you um, more templates 
Um, but they do have quite a bit that you could use as a kind of starting off point, right? So let's just click on uh, this one right here. You can name your lead magnet whatever you want and click on create lead magnet. And now we are in the drag and drop creator. Okay, so this is the, the cover. You can uh, update the background. Uh, you can do like plain color or gradient style. Uh, you can choose the background color. You can move uh, this however uh, you want to and change the Im image tint, right, to kind of make it darker or lighter or however you want to. I'm just gonna kind of leave it uh, like that. And you can remove it. I kind of like it removed and change the margins. And you can convert this page into a template so you could use it uh, for the future, okay? And then you can go here and click on to the other pages. So this is the introduction. And then you can basically edit anything you want, okay? So you can change, this is the intro, change the font, all right? Um, update the text. You can change uh, the background here by uh, browsing your saved images or uploading an, Im an image. Uh, let's see if I can maybe click on this one. Okay, so you can change it, you can stretch it, right? And make any type of edits to the image um, as you wish. And then you can add your text, uh, make things bold, okay? And basically do everything you you can with any type of text uh, creation tool that you've used in the past. You can do that right here, okay? And then you can go here and then go to the other page, edit this however you want to. Uh, checklist table, right? I really like how this is formatted. Uh, people love checklists. So you can do a very, very simple checklist and then have people opt in, right? To capture emails to grow your email list, right? And then I'm gonna exit out of that. And then this is really cool because you can create a CTA at the very end. So this is the last page. And then you can create a button here to book a consultation or to buy a particular uh, thing that you are offering. You can add a link here and have people uh, opt in or purchase any type of product you are selling, right? So you can change the text color, the font, the background color, um, you know, change it however you want to, right? So make it red, border color, you can make the border color maybe, I don't know, like white, okay? And then make it, instead of making it transparent, you could make it opaque like that, and then square, round, however you want to, okay? So really, really cool. Uh, features to make your your CTAs to make your 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 ebook your checklist really stand out right so you can even add a new page here and when you add a new page you have different styles or templates you can choose from so like narrow two columns text separated uh, this one is pretty unique it's pretty advanced I would say right so you can go through here and add all the copy right over here, okay? And then you can drag and drop too, okay? So you can drag and drop the headline. Maybe you want like a text here. You could just drag it and then you can add the text. You can add uh, like quotes, divider right here, spacers, page number. Page numbers are really important. So you can add the page number at the very um, bottom, right? So let's see. Let's see if this is working on my end. Okay, you might need to add a footer. Uh, let's see, show footer, and then go here, and then add page number. There we go, right? And then you can change the page number, okay? So really cool ways to uh, design your lead magnet however uh, you want to. And then you can preview it by clicking preview, and this is how it looks like. And then you can uh, publish it, so this is cool because you can download the PDF, have a smart PDF, so you can actually share a link, and then people can just click on the link to view the PDF in their browser. A horizontal bar, so this is like a, a lead, kind of like a, this pop-up here. And then you can also do inline form content upgrade, so you can actually have people uh, s submit an email and kind of see this, it's basically like a pop-up, 
right, to capture leads, pop-up delay, and link lock, right? So you can actually uh, use this cool link lock. Uh, they need to share their email uh, to gain access to the lead magnet. So this is how the lead magnets uh, work. Now, the beacon lead capture forms. Okay, so this one is cool. So these are uh, basically like pop-ups, okay? So uh, you can click on create a new form and you can upload a resource or use a beacon resource. So let's click on use beacon resource and we're gonna select the resource that we just created. And there is four different uh, formats, okay? You can do a content upgrade, link lock, horizontal bar, inline form, pop-up delay. Let's do um, content, let's do content upgrade, okay? So uh, get started with these professional designs. So I kind of like this one. Oops, let me go back. And then let's see, lead magnet, content upgrade, create lead capture form. And now you can change it however you want to, right? So this is the headline, edit it however you want to, some text here, an image, and you can also uh, update the background too and change the the kind of like overall layout of how you want the form to, to kind of look, right? Change the background color right here. And then this is the button. Change the button however color you want, right? Like that, so on and so forth. And then you can click on this arrow to go to the next step, which is step two. And this is kind of like the pop-up, okay? So this is how the trigger will appear in your blog. And then this is the pop-up. You can design it however you wish change up the paragraph, uh, edit the form, right? So ask for name, email, change how the button looks like. This is the container, add a background color or change out the background image. And then this is the overall layout. So there's two layouts and then the action, right? So show on page exit. So if someone wants to exit the page, this will appear, okay? And the next part is step three. So this is the the thank you page or the thank you notification. You can change the headline, add a paragraph, the container, you can add your Google Analytics code here, social share, right? So if you want people to share, you can allow them to do so and then redirect. So once they opt in, you can actually redirect them to a specific page if you wish. And then this is the confirmation, okay? So you can actually email your resource link within Beacon, okay? So you can, um, up, update the subject line, from name, reply to address, the email body, the opt-in settings. You can do double opt-in or single opt-in. And so yeah, so you don't even need like another email software. You can basically do your email marketing within Beacon. Okay, so that's a really powerful feature. And then integrations. Okay, so you can do different um, integrations here. Uh, let me, I'll show you the integrations um, in a bit because I don't think I can select right here, but you can select integrations like active campaign, any type of email providers, uh, CMS, right? And then publish here. You can publish your lead magnet, add this code um, to your website, and then format preference, which lead magnet format should be given, smart PDF or traditional PDF, email notifications, you can get a notification via email when someone opts in, okay? Click save. So a lot of really cool features in terms of how you can best uh, create your pop-up forms. So I'm gonna go back. Beacon resource libraries. So this one is a relatively new feature that launched not too long ago. So a resource library is basically a library that you host within Beacon of different resources. And to gain access to the resource, your lead would need to opt in to gain access to your resource. Okay, so to create a resource library, click on create new library. And then there's different templates here, okay? Pretty simple, pretty basic, not too crazy. You can click here, and then now you can pick the resources that you want, right? So you can click any type of resource that you've uh, created, and then click on continue, name your resource library, click on create resource library, 
And this is kind of like how it looks like. So it's basically drag and drop. So these are all of the resources that I've added here. All right, so there's uh, PDFs, uh, checklists, YouTube videos you can create. You can update the logo, the heading, the subheading. People can search. Okay, people can search. You can tag these resources according to like a specific category or format. All right, and then you can move things however you want to. You can actually add more library resources to your library by clicking here. You can browse, all right? You can upload files, add a URL, add HubSpot file, add HubSpot blog post. So you can add additional resources like that. You can customize the library by just changing the way things kind of look, right? However you um, best like things to be designed. This is the customized header. This is the resource area. Okay, so you can, you know, do it like that. Make the resources square looking. This is the container, resource title, resource description. So a lot of powerful design options. And then display elements. You can maybe hide the header if you wish. Basically, everything you you can do, you can change right here. Default opt-in setting. So how should people access your resource? opt-in form or instant access, right? So I like opt-in form because you can actually ask people for their information um, to opt-in to gain access to the resource library. And then you can have a confirmation email to the subscriber and then you can integrate your email uh, tool as well. All right, so this is how the resource library looks like. And uh, let me kind of save this. You can preview it. Right, so this is how the resource library looks like. You can click onto the resource library and to gain access to the resource, people would need to put their name and email, right? To gain access to this YouTube video, people need to put their name and email. So really cool. So I'm gonna exit that, go home. And yeah, that's basically the whole gist of it. Let me go back to resource libraries and show you something that I created um, before. So this is another resource library, okay? So different ways to design it. People can search, people can sort by categories, by format. If you have a lot of resources, people can filter in that way. So really, really powerful uh, features within Beacon. So they have an AppSumo plan um, starting at $79. All right, so with the AppSumo plan, these are the deal terms. So you can stack up to uh, four codes, okay? Now, with single, you get one user, one domain. If you get double stack, two codes, you get upgraded to five users, 100 domains, team accounts, okay? And multiple, uh, if you stack three, you have access to 25 users, unlimited domains, team accounts and the resource library. Okay, so that resource library, so this part right here will only be available if you stack three codes or more, all right? And I really like how the plan is connected to their current plans on their website. So with the professional plan, it's one code. And then if you stack two or more, you get the agency plan, all right? So if you go to their main pricing, their agency plan is $99 per month, all right? So if you just stack three codes within three months, you it'll be paying for itself, okay? And if you've purchased the previous AppSumo deal, you can actually stack, okay? You can actually stack additional codes, all right? And you have unlimited domains, depending on how many codes you stack. And if it were me, I would get three codes because I want that resource library, all right? Uh, and you get unlimited domains. So if you have multiple brands, companies, websites, you want to use Beacon for those websites. Or if you have clients, you want to be able to not be limited to the amount of clients you can serve with Beacon. So I would get three or four or four codes um, for this tool. So um, really, really great tool. I highly recommend you, you um, get
get this. Um, as you can see, in terms of cons, it's it can be kind of finicky in terms of creating the lead magnets. Sometimes you have to like click on certain things. Sometimes like it might not be as easy to change or drag certain things over. Um, the drag and drop functionality does take a little while to get used to. That is my con. Um, you need to get used to it, okay? So you kind of need to learn, like with margins, you need to like, uh, you know, change the margins however you want to, to move things around, right? So it does take a little getting used to, but overall it's pretty easy to use and it's a very powerful tool. So um, if you want to definitely get that AppSumo deal, and again, guys, um, if you want access to my free SEO audit checklist, uh, claim this checklist by clicking the link below and feel free to check out my other software reviews by clicking any of these two videos um, on the screen. And again, like this video. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to my channel to view my other software reviews. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video.